Sala, Assistant Professor of English, KSR Women's College. Today we are going to discuss the topic I Immediate Constituent Analysis or ICs. In order to study the structure of a sentence, linguists thought of dividing the sentence into immediate constituents or ICs. The principle was involved of cutting these sentence into two and these two part into divided into another two. The segmentation continues till the morphem arrived at. Morphem is the lowest minimal meaningful unit in the grammatical sentence of a language. I'll show you the example of a sentence for the constituents. Yeah, young girl. With an umbrella, chased the boy. This is the sentence. We are going to divide the sentence into immediate to and another to till the morphem arrived at. Yeah, young girl. With an umbrella, chased the boy. Yeah, young girl. With an umbrella. Yeah, young girl. Young girl. With an umbrella and umbrella. Like was here, chased the boy. And this chase will be divided as chase and past tense. And the boy is divided as the and boy. Here we come to know that this is the word which we cannot further divide it. That is the lowest minimal meaningful unit and that is called morphem. This is called immediate constituent analysis. And this constituent can also be labeled as noun phrase, proportional phrase, verbal group and adverbial. Now phrase. And this noun phrase can be written in a short form as young P. A noun phrase is a single word, single noun, or pronoun, or group of words belonging to the noun cluster around it. A noun phrase has a head, noun, head word as noun and modifiers. And the modifiers are restrictor. Predeterminer, determiner, ordinal, quantifiers, adjectives, and classifiers. When you come to the restrictor, the words like especially, only, merely, just, almost, particularly, even can be used. And predeterminers, half, double, twice, or half. Determiners, these words include articles, demonstratives, and possessors. Articles A and the, demonstrators this, that, these, those, and possesses my, his, own, see, thus. Ordinals, first, third, last, next. If you are saying as one, two, three, then it will become another word cardinal. Quantifiers, many, several, few, less. Adjective, good, long, tall, nice looking, etc. Classifiers, a city college, city is a classifier. A leather purse, leather is a classifier. A summer glass, summer is a classifier. So, this is the noun phrase. And the next one is prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase can be written in a short form as PRE phrase. Prepositional phrase is a noun phrase preceded by a preposition. For example, Preposition phrase can be divided as a preposition and noun phrase. For example, on the table. This is the prepositional phrase. And this prepositional phrase is divided into preposition as on and noun phrase as noun phrase. Though we can see the the in determiner article. So determiner 
article the and the noun is table head word this is the proportional phrase and we are going to see the verbal group verbal group can be written in the short form as vg verbal group immediately generally follows the noun phrase in a typical english sentence and this verbal group consists of auxiliary and main verb when we come to the auxiliary that is similar derivation like tense compulsory in the tense there are two types present and past according to this grammar there is only two type of sentences tenses present tense and past tense for example you are saying would would is not the future tense it is past of the will then model it may consist of may not may will shall etc and then perfect have em and then progressive be ing this uh, perfect can be written in short form as uh, perf and prog is a short form of form of progressive we can see the example of verbal group she might have been This might have been crying is the verbal group. When you come to this verbal group, we are dividing this into immediate thing, auxiliary and main verb. Main verb is cry. When you come to the auxiliary tense, might is the past of me, and then model is me, and a perfect is have en, and progressive is has en. Or B E I N G. When you come to this, might have been crying. So we come to the sentence. This is the verbal group. And the last one of the immediate constituent analysis is adverbial. A adverbial is a group of words that perform the functions of an adverb is called adverbial. It consists of a word, phrase or a class. Adverb can have the time, place, manner and the reason. So we are going to follow these steps in the sentence which we applied earlier. That is, a young girl. With an umbrella, chased the boy. This is considered as a sentence or a statement, and it is divided into noun phrase and predicate phrase. Here, I want to study one thing. If you write it as a P R E D. Then it is predicate phrase. If it is only P R E, then it will be considered as a prepositional phrase. So make a note of it. If you are dividing the sentence into immediate two, it will be only P R E D as predicate phrase. When you come to the noun phrase, this noun phrase and prepositional phrase in a noun phrase. This is the verbal group which immediately follows the noun phrase. In a noun phrase. Determine the article A as A. Adjective is be written in short form as A D J as young. And the noun girl. In the preposition phrase, preposition and noun phrase is the group. And when preposition ends with noun phrases, determine the article and And the noun main verb for the main head word is umbrella. So could you understand the first part? And the second part of predicate phrase is verbal group and the noun phrase. 
Verbal group is auxiliary and main verb. Main verb here is chase and auxiliary is past <coughs> tense is past. When you come to the noun phrase, <coughs> determina, article, the, and the noun, head word, word. So, a young girl with an umbrella chased the ball. So, we come to the sentence by dividing these sentences into immediate constituent analysis. And there are also the limitations for I, I says because it won't have the negative questions or comparative say questions or interrogatives. Uh, then uh, imperatives, these things will not be followed by IC analysis. IC analysis should be only in the form of statement. I think you all understand with this IC analysis. Thank you. Yeah. Now friends. And this noun phrase can be written in a short form as yang p. A noun phrase is a single word, single noun, or pronoun, or group of words belonging to the noun cluster around it. A noun phrase has a head, noun, head word as noun and modifiers. And the modifiers are restrictor, predeterminer, determiner, ordinal, quantifiers, adjectives, and classifiers. When you come to the restrictor, the words like especially, only, merely, just, almost, particularly, even can be used. And predeterminers, half, double, twice, or both. Determiners, these words include articles, demonstratives, and possessors. Articles, a, and the, demonstratives, this, that, these, those, and possessors, my, his, own, see, thus. Ordinals, first, third, last, next. If you are saying as one, two, three, then it will become another word cardinal. Quantifiers, many, several, few, less. Adjective, good, long, tall, nice looking, etc. Classifiers, a city college, city is a classifier. A leather purse, leather is a classifier. A summer glass, summer is a classifier. So, this is the noun phrase. And the next one is prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase can be written in a short form as PRE phrase. Prepositional phrase is a noun phrase preceded by a preposition. For example, preposition phrase can be divided as a preposition and noun phrase. For example, on the table. This is the prepositional phrase. And this prepositional phrase is divided into preposition as on and noun phrase as noun phrase. The we can see the the in determiner article. So determiner article the and the noun is table. Head word. This is the prepositional phrase. And we are going to see the verbal group. Verbal group can be written in a short form as VG in the sentence which we applied earlier. That is, a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy. This is considered as a sentence or a statement and it is divided into noun phrase and predicate phrase. Here I want to study one thing. If you write it as a P-R-E-D, then it is predicate phrase. If it is only P-R-E, then it will be considered as a proportional phrase. So make a note of it. If you are dividing the sentence into immediate two, it will be only P-R-E-D as predicate phrase. When you come to the noun phrase, this noun phrase and prepositional phrase in a noun phrase. This is the verbal group which immediately follows the noun phrase. In a noun phrase, determine the article A and 
as A. Adjective is be written in short form as ADJ as YAM. And the noun GIRL. In the preposition phrase, preposition and noun phrase is the group. And then preposition is with noun phrases, determiner, article, and and the noun main verb for the main head word is umbrella. So could you understand the first part? And the second part of predicate phrase is verbal group and the noun phrase. Verbal group is auxiliary and main verb. Main verb here is chase and auxiliary is past <coughs> tense is past. When you come to the noun phrase, <coughs> determiner, article, the, and the noun, head word, boy. So, a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy. So, we come to the sentence by dividing these sentences into immediate constituent analysis. And there are also the limitations for I, I sees because it won't have the negative questions or comparative state questions or interrogatives uh, then um, imperatives these things will not be followed by IC analysis IC analysis should be only in the form of statement I think you all understand with this IC analysis